um, ministers, vice chancellor, distinguished colleagues. On behalf of DFID, I'd really like to add my welcome um, and thank you for coming and thanks for coming to the conference, which publicly launches our flagship water security program reach. It's really great to see such a breadth and depth of expertise being brought to bear on the challenges of improving water, water security for poor people. So I've just come in as the chief scientific advisor to DFID and I'm managing a substantial research budget. And I have to defend the size of our research budget and how we use that, that money every day as part of my work. And it's actually relatively easy in, at times and for, in work like this to protect that investment because we can really, you know, really committed to using cutting edge research um, and, and expressing the value of good research that can change actual policies and programs on the ground is what is a really worthwhile investment of taxpayers' money and of different, different resources. Because I believe that a strong evidence base is essential for the provision of effective development and humanitarian assistance for the poorest people. It helps us get best value for money, learn lessons for the future, and demonstrate impact. Um, and research is a powerful force to drive innovation and higher impact programming. As the VC has just told us and, and noted, water security is really a defining global challenge. It underpins many of the challenges Jeff Diffid is, is, is addressing around economic growth, human development and resource sustainability. Achieving and maintaining water security requires balancing often competing goals in an increasing, increasingly complex landscape of demographic, climatic, environmental, political, economic and social change. We believe that REACH will be critical in providing robust and accessible evidence to understand how we can best do this. In September, world leaders committed to 17 global goals to achieve three extraordinary things in the next 15 years. To ex end extreme poverty, fight inequality and justice, and fix climate change. Global Goal 6, in particular, sets ambitious targets around water security, um, which captures, I think, the essence of the challenges for REACH. The target 6.4, which is by 2030, sustainably increase water use efficiency across all sectors and ensure sustainable withdrawals and supply of fresh water to address water scarcity and substantially reduce the number of people suffering from water scarcity. Back at home, the, re the recent flooding events in Cumbria bring home the potential impacts of climate change on water security. There is a strong and growing consensus as we wrap up the climate talks at COP21, including with the EU and the US, that we should push for a more ambitious target of 1.5 degrees limit for temperature rise, um, because concerns are so great around the serious, seriousness of climatic change impacts. At DFID, we're really excited about REACH and particularly value its new, holistic, multidisciplinary approach, which we hope will spark innovation to deliver real and transformative change. We see it as a very ambitious and important program. The targets of 5, of 5 million people with improved water security by 2022 is not a figure to be sniffed at. But the partnership, which is which, is, which are being established with both national partners and, additional, and, and international actors, including UNICEF, but also with all of you here, will be critical in achieving this, linking cutting-edge science with results on the ground. I'm here um, to celebrate um, the launch of REACH um, and this afternoon um, the first tranche of the partnership funding. This is a real chance for others to get involved and contribute to the shared goals of REACH. So finally, I would like to again add my welcome um, to everybody here. I would like to thank all the, the Oxford team for the superb organization of the event and, for the, and to the VC for his presence and for the ministers also for, for attending this important conference. And I wish everyone a successful meeting. And as a, a graduate of Oxford, I also wish Oxford well this afternoon in the rugby match. Thank you.